Our topic for today is about hydrophonics, lesson number six, seed germination. Planting your garden. When your hydrophonic system is built, your pumps and timers have been tested and are functioning properly and the nutrient solutions are mixed and tested, you are ready to plant your garden. Plants that have been raised in soil can be transplanted in a hydrophonic garden if the roots are thoroughly rinsed of all soil and organic material, but there is always a risk of introducing pests and disease from the nursery where the plants were propagated. There is also a strong possibility that the plants have been overcrowded, over or underwatered, and generally stressed. By starting your plants from seeds, you have the most control over the initial development of your crop. As a general rule, seeds are free of pests and disease. If you start your seeds in a hydrophonic system, there is no transplant stress or shock and minimal chance of disease. A seed needs moisture and warm temperatures to germinate, which can be provided in your hydrophonic garden or in a system designed for propagation. Direct seeding into the hydrophonic garden is a common method of propagation. Direct seeding works well in perlite, rock wool, or any other medium that is fine enough not to lose the seed in. It is important to thoroughly moisten your growing medium prior to seeding. To seed directly into perlite or a similar medium, you sprinkle the seeds in the moistened perlite and cover with a thin layer of perlite to keep the seeds from drying out. Follow the directions on the seed packet for planting depth. Rock wool is most often used in the form of cubes for seed propagation. To plant seeds in rock wool, soak the cube in water or nutrient solution and drop the seeds into the hole in the center of the rock wool cube. Many growers seed into rock wool cubes and when the seedling develops, move the whole cube with the plant in it into the hydrophonic garden. A seedling in a rock wool cube can easily be transplanted into an NFT, ebb and flow, or drip system. Once seeded, the growing medium will need to be flushed on a regular basis to keep it moist. You can initially use water for germination. Right up to the point that the seed coat cracks open and the radical root is exposed, at that point you have a seedling rather than a seed, which will not or need rather water, nutrients, light, and warm. The frequency of flashing your growing medium depends on the type of medium you choose. If you are using perlite or rock wool, it will probably need to be flashed every two to three hours. The medium and the seeds need to be moist. Controlling temperature is also important for a good seed germination. Some growers will start their seeds in an incubator, propagation table, or similar device to maintain the ideal temperature throughout the germination process. If proper temperatures are not maintained, germination will be delayed or may not happen at all. If you are using an incubator or propagation table, you can see directly into the growing medium. When you plant seed for your hydrophonic garden, you should overseed by 25% to 50%. Once your seeds have developed into seedling, you can select the strongest plants and keep them. The weaker plants can be removed by pinching or what we call thinning the plant off at the base. Pulling the plant out will disturb the roots of the plant that you are keeping. Now let's talk about germination process. The initial stages of plant growth happen within the seed coat. As the seed absorb water, growth begins with cell enlargement. In the presence of water, the stored reserves within the seed are converted chemically to substances that can be readily used in the growing process. Once the seed coat breaks and the radical root comes out, 
the seedling will need to draw moisture and nutrient or nutrition from the medium surrounding it. Several days after the root has emerged, the shoot begins to grow in the presence of light. The seed leaves, or what we call cotyledons, open. The opening of the first foliage leaves will follow. There are different germination requirements when there is a seed germination. So the requirements are as follows. The first one is what we call moisture. Saturate your growing medium with water or nutrient solution with a pH of 5.5 to 6.5 be sure to keep the growing medium moist throughout germination. Ideally, the water or nutrient solution should be kept at 75 to 80 Fahrenheit. This temperature can be easily maintained with a submersible aquarium heater. Once your plants have germinated, a nutrient solution with a pH of 5.5 to 6.5 and a nutrient concentration of 1,800 to 2,000 um, should be fed. Next is relative humidity. So the higher the relative humidity, the greater the absorption of water by the seed. Ideally, relative humidity should be 70 to 80% in the air around the media and near 100% right around the seed. Next requirement is also the ideal temperature. So bottom heat is advantageous for propagation. Heated propagation mats are made for this purpose and are often incorporated into incubation chambers and propagation tables. Providing the ideal ambient temperature for your seeds will encourage quick germination. The chart below shows optimum germination temperatures for a variety of plants. So we have eight crops, which has a different optimum temperature for germination. So the crop has as follows, carrots, 86 Fahrenheit, cucumber for the optimum temperature for germination is 76 Fahrenheit, lettuce, 76, melon, 90, Parsley, 77, peas, 76, radish, 86, and last is tomato, which is 78. The next requirement is what we call light. The first few days of seed germination, or the time prior to the radical root emerging, can take place in the dark. So after that time, light must be provided to the seedling. If proper light is not provided, a plant will grow tall and spindly as it reaches for the light. This is often referred to as stretching. Young plants will quickly do this. For seedling growth, having at least 500 foot candles or light is required. This can be either natural or artificial light. If artificial light is used, set a timer that turns the light on the 16 hours and off for eight hours of each day. Plants do need darkness as part of their daily cycle. So do not leave the light on all of the time. Now let's proceed to the next topic, which is choosing what plants to grow. So when you choose the plants you will grow in the hydrophonic garden, you should choose plants that have similar needs to grow together. For instance, uh, a tomato and a cucumber plant have similar needs in temperature, light, and nutrient requirements, while lettuce and basil also have like needs. So since your garden can hold a limited number of plants, be sure to plan what you will grow prior to planting, schedule regular seeding for plants like lettuce and radishes for the continuous harvest. So here are some of the sample of plants uh, that you can grow in hydroponic system. 
the number one is basil. So normally, a basil is a fast-growing, hardy herb that is an excellent choice for hydroponic garden. Once a basil plant is 12 to 18 inches tall, cuttings can be taken. Remove any flowers or buds to encourage continuous leaf production. A basil plant will produce fresh growth for three to four months and then should be removed from the system and replaced with a new one. Like needs is lettuce and spinach and the days to germinate is six to 10 days. Next plant is what we call beans. So beans do well in hydrophonic garden. They grow rapidly and produce high yields. Beans will grow well in an ebb and flow system with a loose growing medium such as perlite or expanded clay pebbles. If climbing beans are planted, you will need a trellis for support. So beans will generally produce in about six to eight weeks with a total time in the garden about three to four months. Like needs is peas and days to germinate is three to eight days. Next is what we call broccoli. So broccoli like cabbage or cauliflower likes cooler temperature. If these are crops you want to grow, they should be grown together in an area where cooler temperatures can be maintained. Broccoli is slow germinate and develop. Time from seed to harvest is about four months like needs cabbage and cauliflower. The next one is what we call carrot. Carrot and other root crops will do well in hydrophonic garden as long as they have a large enough grow bed to mature and fully develop. A loose growing medium like perlite work best for root crops. Carrots will be ready to harvest in about two and a half to three months like needs of a carrot are radishes, beets, leeks. Days to germinate is six to 10 days. The most common plant or seeds planted in hydroponic is what we call lettuce. So lettuce and leaf crops do very well in a hydroponic garden. Leaf lettuce generally will do better than head lettuce. Lettuce will grow best in an F FT system but will also grow in an ebb and flow or drip system. Most lettuce varieties will be ready for harvest in 35 to 45 days. When harvesting, you can remove just the leaves you need or you can harvest the whole plant. If you are harvesting the whole plant, remove the root bowl with the plant and refrigerate to store. Seed lettuce every few days for a continuous supply. Like needs basil, leaf craft, spinach days to germinate is four to eight days next is pepper any kind of pepper whether it is hot or sweet will do well in hydrophonics the only drawback is that it may take up to four months to harvest the best growing system for peppers is a drip system they will also do well in an ebb and flow system there are many varieties of peppers available in a wide range of colors and flavors. Like needs of pepper are tomatoes and cucumber. Days to germinate is 10 to 14 days. The next one is what we call radish. Radishes will do well in hydrophonics as long as they have a grow bed deep enough to accommodate their growth. Radishes germinate and grow very quickly. Most radish varieties will mature in 30 to 40 days. Continuous planting will give you a steady supply. Radishes will do well in an ebb and flow or drip system with perlite or expanded clay pebbles as the growing medium. Like needs, carrots, beets, leeks, and days to germinate is two to five days. The next one is spinach. A spinach grows well in a hydrophonic garden. An NFT or ebb and flow system will both produce good results. Spinach is slower to germinate and grow than lettuce with harvest at approximately 50 to 60 days. Spinach leaves can be harvested as you need them 
or like lettuce, the whole plant with the root ball intact can be harvested. Seed often for a continuous support, like needs, lettuce, basil, and these two germinate is six to 12 days. The next one is strawberry. Strawberries will grow quite well in a hydroponic garden. Most often, you will find strawberry shoots rather than seeds. These shoots can be transplanted into the garden, but be sure they are free of pest and disease. And then wash the roots thoroughly to remove all soil and organic debris. Next is tomato. Tomatoes are the most popular commercial hydroponic crop. Most commercial growers grow full size in determinate varieties. These varieties will bear fruit in about 100 days and continue to produce up to a year. There are miniature tomato varieties available that are perfect for a smaller hydroponic garden. A drip system is the best method of growing tomatoes in a hydroponic garden, but they will also grow in other system. If you are growing tomatoes indoor, you may need to pollinate the individual flowers for fruit set to occur. This can be achieved by vibrating the flower or flower truss. As a tomato plant develops, plant support will be needed. So like needs are cucumber and peppers, and the days to germinate is three to six days. The last one is cucumber. Their rapid growth and high productivity make cucumber an excellent choice for a hydroponic garden. The European seedless varieties are great tasting and easy to grow. So these varieties will produce cucumber at about six weeks and continue to grow up to six months. Being a long-term crop, Cucumber will do best in a drip system with perlite or rock wool as a growing medium. Pick the cucumber regularly to encourage continuous production. Plant support will be needed for cucumber plants. The cucumber plant will be quite large, so provide adequate space if you choose to grow them. Like needs are tomatoes and peppers, and the days to germinate is three to five days. So that's the end of our lesson, which is all about seed germination. So we already tackled the, the process of seed germination, the different plants okay, that, can, that we can grow in hydroponic system, and the planting guide in hydroponic system. So thank you and good luck.